Introduction to Piping Fabrication Welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, we'll start our piping fabrication basic course with the most important topic, an introduction to piping fabrication. If you're new to this field, this video will help you understand what piping fabrication really means, why it's so important in industries, and what the main steps are before the pipe reaches the site for installation. What is piping fabrication? Piping fabrication is the process of cutting, preparing, and assembling pipes and fittings as per an approved drawing to form a complete spool or piping system. These fabricated spools are later transported and installed at project sites, like refineries, chemical plants, or power stations. The goal is to make every joint accurate, strong, and dimensionally correct so it fits perfectly during erection. Why is fabrication needed? Most piping systems are large and complex. If we try to weld everything directly at site, it takes too much time, cost, and manpower. That's why we fabricate the pipes in a controlled workshop, where tools, machines, and measuring instruments are available. This improves quality, safety, and productivity. Fabrication shops can produce hundreds of spools each month with precise tolerances. Main activities in piping fabrication Material receiving and identification Marking and cutting Beveling and edge preparation Fit up and tack welding Welding and visual inspection Dimensional and QA QC checks Painting Identification and dispatch. Material receiving and identification. All pipes, fittings, and flanges are checked with their MTC, material test certificate, and heat numbers before fabrication starts. Marking and cutting. Pipes are marked according to isometric drawings. Then cut using gas cutting or cold cutting machines. Beveling and edge preparation. The pipe ends are beveled as per WPS, welding procedure specification, usually 37.5 degrees plus or minus 2.5 degrees. Beveling removes burrs and prepares the pipe for full penetration welding. Fit up and tack welding. The pipe and fittings are aligned using clamps, wedges, and levels. The root gap is maintained, 1.5 to 3 mm, depending on code and process. Tack welds hold the parts before final welding. Welding and visual inspection. Welding is done using SMAW, GTAW, or MIG, depending on material. Each weld is visually checked for defects and alignment. Dimensional and QA QC checks. Final dimensions like length, squareness, and flange alignment are verified with drawing tolerances. Painting, identification, and dispatch. Completed spools are cleaned, primer coated, stamped, and sent to site with proper documentation. Codes and standards used. Piping fabrication follows international standards such as ASME B31.3 for process piping, ASME Section 9 for welding qualifications, API 650 or 620 for storage tanks, if connected, ASME B16.5 for flanges and fittings. Following these ensures uniform quality and safety in all fabricated joints. Importance of accuracy. A small mistake in fabrication, even 1 mm misalignment, can create big problems at site during erection. That's why every step must be checked, material traceability, squareness, root gap, and orientation. Fabrication is not just welding, it's precision engineering at workshop level. Conclusion So friends, 
that's a short overview of what piping fabrication is and why it's essential in industry. In the next lesson, we'll move to tools and equipment used in piping fabrication, where we'll see each tool practically. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Technical Studies for more real-world fabrication tutorials.